today one of our contestants could take home an amazing Titleist TSI driver. Plus, I'm hosting today's show from a nationally recognized facility that dates back to 1910. Where am I today? Find out next on Winning Golf. Got a chance, could it be? It's in the cup! Wow! Winning golf, that's what we play. It's in the hole! Working on that short game each and every day. I'm near the green again, that's where the action all begins. Cause with winning golf, everybody wins. That's right, everybody wins. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today Winning Golf comes to you from the spectacular Lehigh Country Club. And joining me as our host today from Pure Storage is my very good friend, Brian Smith. And Brian, welcome back to Winning Golf, my friend. And Brian, today we have two talented teams ready to compete in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. And I believe we have a very, very exciting day ahead of us here at the beautiful Lehigh Country Club. Yeah, thanks Doug. We're really excited. We have a great group of guys here to have a lot of fun today at Winning Golf. Well, thank you, my friend. Hey, guys, that leads me to the next question. That is, are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Oh, yeah. I love your enthusiasm. Now, our first skills challenge today is a putting contest. And Jeff Erickson and Tyler Henninger and Bill Schlegel have been asked to participate. Fellas, here's the game. All three of you will putt from 10 feet at the same time. Now, the winner is the person that rolls it in first. And whoever wins the prize will win a great prize. How about a gift certificate to P.J. Willahan? Sound awesome, guys? Yeah. All right. Let's get ready to putt. Okay, Bill Schlegel, Tyler Henninger, and Jeff Erickson are ready to putt from 10 feet. First one in wins the prize. Ready, guys? One, two, three, putt. And here they come from 10 feet. That's, oh, my goodness. What an incredible effort by Bill Schlegel. That didn't take long. Well, Bill Schlegel, congratulations. You rolled that 10-footer in on your first attempt. That is good putting, my friend. So now you'll get to hang out at one of my favorite establishments, PJ Wellhands. Bill, I hope you had a great time in the contest. It was a great day today, Doug. It was beautiful weather, awesome green, made a good putt. Well, thank you, my friend. Well, as you can see, these two talented teams know how to play some winning golf. And the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's historic facility, the gorgeous Lehigh Country Club. The history of Lehigh Country Club, located in the rolling hills of Lehigh Valley, dates back to 1910. The spectacular 18-hole golf course, designed by master architect William Flynn, officially opened in 1927, and the historic clubhouse as it stands today followed in 1928. Since 1928, many renovations have occurred on the clubhouse, including a new lobby, several new rooms, and a gorgeous front entrance. Now in its 111th year, Lehigh Country Club is nationally recognized for offering high-quality facilities and services that include dining, social, and recreational activities. Here at Lehigh Country Club, we have over 650 member families. Um, we've been around for over 100 years, and we really try to make this our members' home away from home. Every experience, every touch, whether it's a dinner, a pickleball match, or a round on the course, we try to exceed the members' expectations and, and make it a truly great experience. Of course, the main attraction is the spectacular 18-hole championship golf course. The William Flynn design features 18 distinctly different holes and offers dramatic topography and elevation changes, huge specimen trees that frame the holes, as well as some of the best green sites Flynn ever conceived. With three sets of tees ranging from 5,500 to 6,850 yards and playing to a par 70, this 18-hole track offers plenty of challenge and enjoyment for golfers of all levels. You know, one of the beautiful parts about our course is you never have a flat lie. You always have a side hill lie, and uh, you know, our short game practice areas allow you to practice for those types of shots and how they're gonna release onto the green. We're not a particularly long golf course, so our greens are also a really good defense mechanism for this golf course and, and challenge even the best of golfers. The first class golf operation offers a professional and service oriented staff, a vibrant tournament program, a fully stocked pro shop, club fitting expertise, as well as private and group lessons for all ages. And if you desire to lower your handicap, the practice facilities are top notch and include a spacious driving range, a pristine short game center, a mint conditioned putting green, and even a full practice hole. Other recreational activities on site include a robust paddle tennis program, 
with over 30 men and 30 women participating, four brand new dedicated pickleball courts, six hard true and two hard surface tennis courts, as well as a family oriented aquatics facility that features a main pool, a diving pool, and a waiting pool for children. There is no question there are plenty of enjoyable and fun activities for the entire family. And of course, there is much more to Lehigh Country Club than the recreational facilities. The elegant clubhouse offers a spectacular setting for both formal and informal a la carte dining. There are six unique club dining areas offering seasonal selections coupled with traditional club fare. In addition, the culinary team prepares delicious weekly brunch and dinner choices which are prepared with the freshest, most detectable ingredients. The clubhouse staff also offers the Lehigh membership with a variety of popular family, adult, and youth events. One thing is for sure, there is a deep culture of warmth and friendship that exists throughout the Lehigh membership. Currently, 640 families are enjoying each other's company socially, as well as the historic tradition of excellence that Lehigh Country Club offers to its members and their guests on a daily basis. If you're interested in finding out more information about Lehigh Country Club, please call 610-433-7443 or check out their website at lehighcc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Kyle McGrath, Tyler Hennier, Sean Wilson, Adam Stites, Jeff Erickson, Brian Smith, Mike Davenport, Bill Schlegel, Brian Kubler, Jack Vanek, Patrick McGinley, JP Livingston, Carlos Abreu, Brian Neely, Nick Rossica. Our players are set for Doug's FootJoy lesson tip and shoe contest. FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. Gentlemen, today's FootJoy contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to discuss with you what I believe is the scariest shot in golf. Part two, Jack Vanek's going to put my lesson tip into action. And part three is the FootJoy contest where all of you will get to hit a pitch shot and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. Fellas, you ready for this? Yeah, how absolutely. About, right. yeah. How about a gorgeous pair of FootJoy shoes? The number one shoe yeah. in golf. Yeah. Yeah. What, a, what a great prize. Today's shot, I feel, is the scariest shot in golf. It's called the shank. Ever heard of that shot before, guys? Okay. In fact, that word is so scary to me that I've actually renamed it. I call it a lateral pitch out. It makes it sound a little better, all right? A lateral pitch out occurs when your golf ball hits the hosel of your club. That makes the ball shoot out low and dead right. So today, I want to talk about how to fix that problem. Now what's very interesting to me is it happens to high and low handicappers. For high handicappers, it's usually a case of coming way over the top and hitting the hosel. For lower handicappers, it's actually too much of the opposite where you're coming more inside and out. But you can see in both cases, you could hit the hosel. So today I have a drill that will help cure the problem for all levels of golfers. Here's what I do, and you can use head covers or water bottles. I have a couple boxes here. I'm going to set these boxes parallel to my target line with just enough room for the club to slide through so you can hit the sweet spot, but you're going to miss these boxes. Now, if my problem is coming over the top and I sit up to this golf ball, you're going to see me hit this box here. If I come too far inside out, I'm going to hit the front box. So the back box is over the top, the front box is too much inside out. In both cases, we need to fix our path, would you agree? Yeah, right, we got to change the path. So this will force that to happen. If I can hit the sweet spot and hit it down my target line, which in this case is left of the flag, because there's a break to this green, then we're in good shape. Sound like, sound like a good plan, everybody? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Well, before we get to the very exciting footjoy contest, I would love for Jack Vanek to come up here. Have a nice applause for Jack. Oh, Jack. Come on, baby. Jack, thanks for helping out today. Okay. All right, we have about a 25-yard pitch shot here, Jack, and our goal is simple. We want to hit the sweet spot on our club face, and we want to miss both boxes. Sound good? Sounds good. So your focus is going to be on your path today, all right? Okay. I'm going to step back with these wonderful teams from Pure Storage and Naveen. When you're ready, let's focus on the path, my friend. Look at Jack Vanek. Look at this shot, moving from left to right, 
And Jack, that, that is a great effort, my friend. Perfect path. I hope you learned a lot today. I did, Doug. Thanks a lot. You're quite welcome. Well, guys, you ready to try to win a pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah! Let's do it. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to Doug at rdhgolf.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our FootJoy contest focuses on producing a path down the target line. Patrick McGinley is up for this challenge. And this is coming towards the cup right below the hole. That's a great effort by Patrick. Carlos Abreu hits a wonderful shot to less than six feet away. This one's got a chance to get very close, and that's winning golf by Carlos Abreu. Well done, Carlos. Tyler Hennier is the first to five feet from the pin. But look at this shot by Tyler, and that is winning golf by Tyler Hennier. Wow. Yeah. But Bill Schlegel grabs the shoes with this tremendous shot to two feet, 11 inches. Look at this shot by Bill. That is winning golf, and here it comes right towards the hole. Wow, what a shot. Well done, Bill. Well, guys, our FootJoy contest winner is Bill Schlegel. Well, Bill, congratulations. You had the perfect path and a beautiful touch. So now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of FootJoy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. But Bill, my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add an amazing driver to those new FootJoy shoes? It'd be an amazing opportunity, Doug. <laughs> well, I hope you get that opportunity when winning golf returns. All right. FootJoy has been the number one shoe on tour for 75 years. We were innovating then, and we continue to innovate today. And this whole time, we've had one simple goal, to elevate our game so you can elevate yours. We build gear for every player, every swing, every stance, and everywhere you might play. Well, maybe not there. The fact is, we're passionate about progress, and this is the best our game has ever been. So why don't you come play with us? Oh, that spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. Pick something we all like. OK, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger. That's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry. I used to hate parallel parking. Me, Me too. too. Hey. You really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all-new Buick Envision, an SUV built around you, all of you. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Vokey SM8 Wedges. Know your letter, hit your number. Vokey SM8 Wedges. And by Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. Ahead. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Titleist Challenge. Titleist, the choice of the world's best. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, guys, in our next thrilling contest, one of you could take home the number one driver in the golf industry today, the Titleist TSI. How's that sound? Yeah. Yeah. What an amazing prize. So here's the deal. Our awesome host, Brian Smith, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will have two chances to roll in a putt from only 10 feet. If successful, that player will take home a Titleist TSI driver. So fellas, needless to say, this is going to be very exciting. And speaking of exciting, Brian Smith, who's our lucky contestant All right, today here at the beautiful out. Lehigh Country Club. Feel the excitement, guys? Yeah. Oh, oh, my we goodness. have JP Livingston. Yeah. JP! Yeah. Come on up here, JP. Yeah. All right, my friend. So let me go over to the contest again. Two putts from 10 feet, you roll one in, you are the new owner of a Titleist TSI driver. You up for the challenge? Absolutely. Awesome, let's That's go right. make a putt. All right, thank, thank you. you. JP Livingston has two chances to roll in a 10 foot putt. If successful, JP will add a Titleist TSI driver to his bag, just like I did this season. Good stroke, here it comes, it's got a chance. Oh, he lips out the first one. Well, JP's got a mulligan. Let's see if he can roll this in. Here it comes, he's got a chance, JP. Oh, just over to the left side. That was a great effort. Two nice rolls. Well, JP Levinson, that was a great effort. You got both putts to the hole. You didn't win the prize, but I still hope you had a great time. Absolutely, thank you. You're quite welcome. Well, we didn't give away the Titleist driver this week, but the great news is this. We still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. 
Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features this 75-foot uphill chip from the fairway that Kyle McGrath handles well. That's a nice touch by Kyle. Well done, Kyle. Jack Vanek has a good short game. Looks to be about pin high, and that's a good effort by Jack. Good job. Thank you. Brian Neely chips his ball to seven and a half feet. And boy, that looks to be about pin high. And that's a great touch by Brian Neely. Well done, Brian. Nick Rossica has the touch with this effort to just over six feet away. All right, that's pin high. Well done, Nick. Nice job. Good stroke. Good stroke. But Carlos Abreu hits a gem to three feet, five inches to take the round. And look at this touch with a seven iron, and that is winning golf by Carlos Abreu. All right. Round two is a short 15-yard uphill pitch from the rough. Bill Schlegel continues his fine play. Bill Schlegel with a 59-degree wedge. Well done, Bill. Mike Davenport pitches it to just over four feet away. Look at his touch. Well done. Doing some nice stuff today. Tyler Hennier pitches it very well to two and a half feet. Tyler Henninger with a 58 degree wedge. And look at that touch by Tyler. Well done. Brian Kubler puts the pressure on with this pitch to a foot and a half. And look at that shot by Brian Kubler. Well done. What a great sandwich. Adam Stites responds with this beauty to a foot and four inches. That is winning golf, Adam Stites. J.P. Livingston's effort looks good at a foot away. J.P. Livingston with a beautiful touch going right at it. How about that? But Nick Rossica steals the round with this shot to eight inches. Wow. And that is on the doorstep. Take well done. Wow. Round three tests the putting skills with this fast downhill 30-footer that Brian Neely read well. Down the hill, and that is a great touch by Brian Neely. Nick Rossica continuing his fine play. Moving from left to right. Look at this touch by Nick. That is winning golf, my friend. Well right. done. Thank you. Really, really good. Brian Smith rolls his ball to one foot four inches. This one's got a chance. Brian Smith, how about that touch from Brian Smith, our wonderful host? JP Livingston has played well all day. Here it comes back towards the hole. JP Livingston on the backside. Wow. What a touch. Sean Wilson's effort to six inches catches everyone's attention. Down the hill here on the beautiful 19th green. Look at this touch by Sean Wilson right on the doorstep. But Brian Kubler has the magic touch. It won't turn enough. It's got a chance. Brian Kubler, he drains it. He drains it. Unbelievable. Not to be outdone is Patrick McGinley. This one looks very good. Moving from left to right. Patrick McGinley, it's in the heart of the hole. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's two in the cup. Can Jeff Erickson make it three? With a beautiful setup from 30 feet. Moving from left to right. Jeff Erickson's got a chance. That is in the heart of the hole. He does. And then Erickson takes the round in a putt off. Awesome. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks, brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor celebrating 16 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. On the tee today, I would like to share a drill with you that I promise will improve your greenside bunker game. It's called a line drill. I simply draw a line in the sand and then make practice swings trying to hit the line. Remember, in the greenside bunker, we're not looking at the ball, we're looking at a spot about two to three inches behind the golf ball. So here's the drill. I draw a line in the sand, walk towards the end of the line and put a ball a couple inches in front of that line. Then I come back to the beginning and I make some practice swings. Since I want to hit the line, I'm going to start with my club head over the line and I'm going to turn over that line. I don't want to move behind the ball or in front of the ball. I'm going to turn right over that line. Let's see if I can hit the line. Okay, right next to the line. Right on the line. And there we go. That's three pretty good practice swings. Now my ball is in play. But even though I want to hit this ball out of the sand, my focus is not on the ball, it's on the line. So I'm going to give that line a lot of focus, put my club head over it, 
turn over it and hopefully hit a decent shot. Well, I think we'll take that one. Hey, the bottom line is if you want to be a consistent greenside bunker player, then you better hit your spot consistently. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our winning golf skills challenge survivor round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week, our players have to master this 20 yard uphill chip. It's no problem for Brian Smith. And what a touch by Brian. Well done by our host. Kyle McGrath has a nice touch with this shot to just under four feet away. That is winning golf, Kyle. Well done. Jeff Erickson chips his ball an inch closer. And look at that touch by Jeff Erickson. Well done. But two players clearly grabbed our playoff spots. Sean Wilson. Got a chance, Sean Wilson. Wow. What a shot, John. Well done. And Patrick McGinley. At less than two feet away, he takes the round. How about that touch by Patrick McGinley? Awesome. So it'll be McGinley versus Wilson in our Belfour up and in playoff. Find out who'll become this week's champion when winning golf comes right back. There's only one most trusted. There's only one most consistent. There's only one most advanced. There's only one number one ball in golf. Look at this shoe that doesn't look like a golf shoe that performs exactly like a golf shoe. This thing is tuned for the game. Who would have thought wrapping your foot in comfort could also mean you'd have powerful support? And who would have thought that with every move you make, it would move with you? Okay, well, if you're already thinking that, then who would have thought a golf shoe that can do all this would look like that? Prizes and tea gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Bushnell. Unleash your inner DJ with the new Bushnell Wingman. Titleist Golf Balls, Titleist, the number one ball in golf. Scotty Cameron Putters, Scotty Cameron, the choice of champions. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Welcome back to Winning Golf. We're all set for our Belfour up and in playoff. Belfour Property Restoration, restoring more than property. We are on the 19th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a beautiful championship trophy, and the chance to drive home with the key to a gorgeous Buick Envision. Now the rules for the Belfour up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the Belfour up and in playoff will be a 50 foot downhill chip shot from the rough. Sean Wilson will have the honors. Sean carries an 11 handicap and plays most of his golf at Honeybrook. And here it comes. This should move from his left to right. It's a very fast downhill shot, so he's going to be just off the green. Now it's Patrick McGinley's turn to try to battle this very challenging 19th green. Patrick's got a pitching wedge. He's a 15 handicap and plays most of his golf at Heritage Links in New Jersey, and he is on the green and putting. Well, Sean Wilson is just off the green, but he's very close to the pin. He's got a 50, 60 degree wedge, and we're playing an up and in, so he's still in it. Hits that a little bit thin, so he's to the back of the green now, and he's got a long putt from here. Well, Sean's got a challenge here. He's got 45 feet down the hill, a big break left to right. He's gonna come down to feel on this putt, and here it comes. Well, that's a great line. Speed looks good. Boy, how about this effort from Sean Wilson? That is winning golf from 45 feet. What an amazing putt. Well, Patrick McGinley is in the driver's seat. He's line one, very fast. Downhill, left to right putt from 15 feet. It's a beautiful touch there, and he left himself with a nice short one. That's what he had to do. Patrick McGinley can finish this off and become the winning golf champion here at Lehigh Country Club. Patrick McGinley is our winning golf champion. Boy, Patrick, 
your short game was on fire today and you hit the pressure shots when it counted. That's what great champions do, Patrick. I just hope you enjoy your experience with winning golf. Had a blast here today, Doug. Thanks so much for having me. We had a great group, Pure Storage and Veeam having us out. Great technology, but couldn't do it without the folks here at Winning Golf. We had a blast. You guys put on a great show. So thank you for having us. Look forward to coming back. Well, thank you, Patrick. Now, your experience today could become even better in a couple minutes. I'm going to give you the chance to putt from only 60 feet for the keys to a gorgeous Buick Envision. Patrick, do you have one more great shot in you today? We're going to find out. Let's see. I love it, my friend. Well, I've got a great feeling about this next shot, so whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. Pick something we all like. OK, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger that's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry. I used to hate parallel parking. Me, Me too. Hey. You really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all-new Buick Envision, an SUV built around you, all of you. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the Buick Envision at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Putt. Each week, our Winning Golf champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous Buick Envision. Winning Golf is extremely thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We are on the pristine putting green here at the beautiful Lehigh Country Club. Today's winning golf champion, Patrick McGinley, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll it in, Patrick will win the keys and a two-year lease to a spectacular Buick Envision. Patrick McGinley from 60 feet. The line looks good. The speed looks good. And that's a great effort by our champion, Patrick McGinley. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's exciting show from the breathtaking Lehigh Country Club. I would personally like to thank the entire Lehigh staff and membership for their warm welcome and over-the-top hospitality. Also, a very special thanks to my terrific host, Brian Smith, as well as our Veeam and Pure Storage teams for providing us with a day filled with lots of cheers, great camaraderie, and plenty of winning golf highlights. And finally, thanks to all of my faithful viewers for watching Winning Golf, the show where, as you know, everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Everybody wins.